why I don't want Jinbei to join the crew. Jinbei is awesome, but you know what? I don't want him to join the crew, mostly because I don't feel like he would fit in with the crew. Now, first of all, I'm going to explain that I like Jinbei. He was a badass during the War of the Best. And he was also a bad actor in Fifth Man Island. He's a really cool character, but I feel like he's more like Law and like Bartolomeo. Well, Bartolomeo, no. Bartolomeo should have joined. But no, but that's besides the point. He's one of those characters like Law, like Cavendish, Friends Rex Rosa. A character I feel like is much better as an ally than they are as a crew member. Mostly because he doesn't really have a gag that I feel would work with the crew. What does Jinbei even have? He doesn't, all the Thrawns have a gag, and I can't think of what Jinbei's gag would be or is. I can, you could say he's just super serious, but even the super serious character, like Zoro, still has a gag. A gag is that he gets lost very easily. Ro even Robin, who is like the most mature person in the world, has a gag. Her gag is very small, but she does have her gag that she always that she has a very dark sense of humor, and she's always talking about all the ways they could die, which is actually a very entertaining gag. Or Nami with money, who is always freaking out over money, or even Santi, who is always be freaking out over women because he's a pervert. Like, you all have the, they all have the gags, and I don't really feel like Jim may have one. Now, another th thing I feel like that would negatively affect them is what power scaling can be argued in a future video. That's not what this video is about, so I will not give my reasons. I'll talk about that later. But I feel like Jinbei is stronger than Sanji at the moment. This could change with later information. Yes, this video is being made after chapter 826 came out. So later on, we could learn Sanji is way stronger. But at the moment, I think Jinbei is stronger than Sanji. So I feel like that would upset the balance of the monster trio. More than already had been by Law being there. The Law is clearly stronger than Dante. That is clear as day. I don't even think you can argue that. Law is around Luffy's level. And Zoro and Sanji, that is debatable. But Luffy and Sanji is not debatable. Luffy is way stronger than Sanji. Well, not by a lot, but you see the point. The point is that I think Jinbei is stronger. So that if he joins the crew permanently... Sanji could no longer be part of the Monster Trio. And the Monster Trio, like merchandise-wise and advertisement-wise, are just a big staple of One Piece. So the Monster Trio, they're always in the front of everything. It's always them being shown leading the crew into battle, and they're always being used in the advertisements and the big parts of them. Even in the film Gold trailer, they get the most time dedicated to them in terms of their fighting. Then sometimes in movies, they're the only ones that have a real fight, while the other just fight background characters. So yeah, I just really, really wanted to point out that I feel like he would upset the balance of the monster trio. But don't worry, that's not the only reason I don't want him on the crew. He knows too much. Now the four you come at me with this, Jinbei has already sailed the, lo the Grand Line with the Sun Pirate. He has seen the New World, he sailed with Whitebeard, and he can even hold his own against pre kind give Ace in combat. He fought on, he blocked, one of that kind of units attacked. This guy had been through a hell, and he he been through the Grand Line. He knows what he's doing. The whole point in the, the Straw Hat, all being from the first half of the Grand Line, and being from Ireland, and not being pirate prior to, you know, meeting, joining Luffy, the side for Robin, the whole reason they weren't really pirates is because if they were pirates, and they had experience, it would take away from the reaction. It would take away from the adventure feeling of the theory. Honestly, I wouldn't be able to take it as seriously if they were had Jinbei there, because he would probably have the answer to some of their questions. Just imagine this for a minute. You have Jinbei, who has already sailed in the new world, and you have Robin, who is pretty much, in some, in my opinion, a walking plot device, because she just, it's just like a plot device. She just spruce shoot out information, she just throws up information out of her mouth all the time. Anytime Oda needs something explained, Robin just happens to know it. So we already have Robin, we don't need Jinbei. Now there is one more reason, and this is the reason I may get some hate for. Now remember, before I get this reason, I'm going to point out, these are the reasons I don't want him to join. Nothing I say here is fact, and you can disagree with me in the comments, 
This is just why I don't want him on the crew. These are my personal reasons as a fan. I am going to point that out. This is my opinion. In my opinion, I'm entitled to that. But yeah, let's move on to my last reason. If Straw Hat is intended to be relatable in some way, Nami grew up being very poor, Luffy lost a brother, Sanji almost starved to death, Zoro lost his rival. Like, each straw hat is meant to have some way that you can relate to them. Chopper faced discrimination, Brook would spend 15 years all by himself, completely alone. I mean, that was the whole point. Each straw hat is meant to be someone you can relate to. I cannot relate to Jinbei on any level, because we, know, we don't know a lot about Jinbei. Yes, we know about him being a Muslim pirate. I'm not sure, I don't, Jinbei, I know Jinbei was not a slave the, at any point in the series, but still, we don't know a tremendous amount about him. We really never even got a Jinbei flashback. We got more along the lines of a Fisher Tiger flashback. In fact, the fandom does call it the Fisher Tiger flashback. We don't call it the Jinbei flashback. With each draw hat, we have a splash map that we can call there. We have the Luffy splash map, the Zoro splash map, the Nami splash map, the Robin splash map. They have their own splash map. Jinbei doesn't really have a splash map dedicated to focusing completely on him. Now, that's just me. I can't really relate to Jinbei. Like, I can on some level relate to some of those things he said. Because he is a very smart guy, like what he said to Luffy on to, on uh, Amazon Lily after he's his death. That, his, his, the thing that he said is relatable, but as a character, he isn't very relatable because his backstory isn't even very sad, really. It, it gets sadder later on, but because he was already an adult, when Sister Tiger died, it is a lot less sad. Because as far as I remember, and I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure this is true, I'm pretty sure Jinbei just grew up on Fifth Man Island, and he granted he grew up in a very poor district, and he wasn't, it wasn't a very great place to grow up. But he he didn't grow up like a slave to a celestial dragon or anything. He just grew up on, on Fifth Man Island like normally. Like there wasn't much difference to, between him and everybody else and a lot of the other people on the island. So when I look at Jim, I, I don't really feel, I feel bad for him, don't get me wrong. I feel bad for, hell, I feel, Arlong was a scumbag, and I feel bad for Arlong. But the point is that Jinbei individually, I don't feel bad for. I feel bad for but some pirates, but not Jinbei. So again, yeah, these are just my opinions. This is just what I think. I just want to remind you guys of that. If you guys want Jinbei to join the crew, you guys probably have a plenty, thousands upon thousands of reasons Jinbei could join. And you know what? I have some, I can see the reasons, and I know what they are. And I understand them, they're really good reasons. Jinbei's awesome. And he helps Luffy save Ace, he's a great character. I just wouldn't want him on the crew 24-7. I'm the same with Law, there are some characters that should not be on the crew 24-7. But that is another video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please tell me what you think about Jinbei joining the crew, whether or not you want him on it or not. In the comment section down below. Remember, if you did enjoy, to also like the video. And above all, guys, have a nice day. This is One Piece Nation signing out.